what do you want out of the the last like we, we keep talking about it, it feels like we have to preface this oh small sample size oh it's only two games who cares it's fun we're enjoying it but as we project forward yeah what do you what do you expect to see from this team I still stand by what I said. And I, I, I understood and agreed with Monty when he said like the playoffs are still the goal this season, but this trade is still about the future too. And, and I under hundred mm-hmm. percent understand that. Um, but I stand by what I said when Tyrese was traded, if you're trading Tyrese Halliburton, you better get better immediately. Like Fox and Sabonis don't have to figure things out completely 100% be on the same page and look like they've played together for 10 years, like Stockton and Malone uh, after a handful of games but this, the team needs to look better. So the fact that they've gone 2-0 to start, I'm like, great, continue that. Like, I don't know if they're going to beat the Brooklyn Nets tonight. I don't know if they're going to beat the Chicago Bulls. I'm not necessarily expecting them to be in a, a six or seven games over 500 team for the remainder of this season, not overall. Um, but I need this team to be better. And so far they have looked better, but being better means, in my mind, at least making the play-in. Now, I also have to go and, and hold myself accountable to say, what I said earlier, which is if the Kings make the plan and don't make the playoffs, it's just NBA purgatory. But that at the time was NBA purgatory with a team that wasn't going for get anywhere. Now I can handle NBA purgatory with a Fox and, and Sabonis combo. You now have a, a multi-time all-star on your team. Plus you have your draft picks and potentially some cap space to add a little bit more to that this summer. Maybe that draft pick is not top five, like some fans are hoping for, but you can still maybe get value out of top 12 or top 13, like we saw with Tyrese Halliburton. So 